High heat is across central New York, but I'll explain why we're seeing higher than normal feels like or heat index temperatures compared to the actual temperature. So first, let's explain why we have a thing called the heat index. First of all, we know our bodies sweat. Normally they like to stay near 98.6 degrees. So when our body temperature rises, we begin to sweat and that's released from our skin as a way to cool ourselves down. The water from the sweat evaporates and that draws heat out of the body through a process called evaporative cooling. However, when it's muggy, this doesn't happen as easily. Our sweat fails to evaporate from our skin, keeping the warmth in our body and leaving you feel sticky. So that's why we have heat index values or real field temperatures when things become muggy. This is the National Weather Services chart that they use to determine the heat index based on the temperature versus the relative humidity. So an example, over the past couple of days, we've been in the low 90s, the relative humidity about 60%. That means the real field temperature is in the lower 100s. Now, what does this mean? Each of these categories stretching from caution to extreme danger. Well, heat stroke is likely when we have heat in this indices of 126 or greater. We start to see people with muscle cramps and heat exhaustion likely in that danger zone, 104 to 125. And it's less likely when you drop below 103 degrees. And heat advisories for us are usually issued when the heat index is 95 degrees or greater. And the deaths from heat-related illnesses has been skyrocketing in previous years. Just this past year, we had 2300 deaths and about 1500 in the last five years. So we want to prevent this from happening and make sure to stay hydrated and find shade during the hottest parts of the day. Reporting on the weather deck, I'm meteorologist Violet Skyberg.